what I would like to encourage any living, thinking, breathing human being to do is to try looking at life without relying on any past thought that they've ever had. Forget the past, because the past is an accumulation of thoughts that builds a, a network, a link, a bunch of things from your life experience. The past is not something we should be using to guide anything other than to know that whatever we're doing is creating more mess, more destruction and more cruelty. So in knowing that, isn't that a good enough reason to not go back into it and to completely, imagine it, just temporarily, just sever the past from your mind which takes out the concept of self as well, where that was built, which allows you now to look at things from a pure state. Therefore, you can look at animal cruelty, human cruelty, the destruction of the environment, the rudeness that we are towards each other. We can just look at it for what it is. Let's forget the judgments, the rights and wrongs, who's contributing to it, who's the worst person, which leader should we get rid of. Let's forget everything, just temporarily. And it'd be intriguing for human beings just to look at what collectively we've allowed to happen. There's 600 million uh, vegetarians on the planet. And to think that we're still drowned out by the majority completely drowned out. wouldn't feel like percentage-wise, let's say that's around 10%, doesn't feel like a 10% voice. It feels like about a 0.0001% voice. You feel, you feel completely, you feel like everywhere you look you're drowned out by the others and what they do. Because they're all about progression and control and so they're, they're more forceful in their approach to life. So of course they're drowning it out. But if everyone could just stop for a second forget the past and have a look, I think we'd all see the same thing. Let's just have a look at what we have collectively created, including the good people who haven't done enough. They haven't said no. They haven't led the way. They haven't showed people what's going on and this has to stop. Not enough, obviously. That's the facts. For them to admit that. For everyone just to be honest about the reality of what we've created. And I still think the animal issue is enough. To think we have such a thing called a slaughterhouse? Where people are employed to grab an animal, use electric prods to force it to go where they want, to jam bolts in their heads, to slice their throats up, hang them from chains and watch them die as blood drips out of their throat and their legs kick desperately. To think that even exists in the numbers that it does. We're not talking about there's a few bad people around that do that. We're talking about this is the norm. If we can't stop and look in that and say, holy crap, what have we done? If we can't face that, we will not be able to face anything. And that can only happen if we forget the past, because in the past is where all of our justifications were created. That's why it's like that. So the past creates a, a deluded sense of glasses to look through and then we can tell ourselves anything. I guarantee you, if you could just plonk everyone completely in this moment, but not in a moment for self-indulgent, like this living in the now where we're like, you know, oh, I just can be happy and free. And you know, they don't run around being compassionate. I'm talking about living in the now via looking at the truth and how ugly it has become. That's a different kind of being in the now. That's a wake up being in the now. I'm convinced that would do it if we just look. Forget theories, forget philosophies, forget possibilities, forget psychology, forget everything. Just honestly look at what we have done. Because I think deep down everyone cares because you can see they care for certain things. So the caring is there. They, they would like to care. They would like to be loved. They would like to give love. Every living being, you can see that. Every animal, you give it a chance to be loved, it just laps it up. It loves it and it loves the whole process. Everything does. 
but we'll never ever feel that or share that if we're not prepared to look at the insane cruelty that we've created on this planet. Statistics show that as many as 140 billion animals are killed every year for human consumption as food, clothing, entertainment and research. The overwhelming majority of these animals are forced to live in horrendous conditions. Yet even those that are so-called free range or raised on organic farms are still subjected to be killed against their will. No living creature wishes to die. And death is arguably the greatest fear of any human. Yet we subject three billion living creatures every week to our most feared fate. We unnecessarily feed and clothe ourselves and our children with the products of cruel and violent habits. <laughs>